Now, in this lecture, we are going to understand how to create a form with a class component in React. Forms are used to get user information. For example, username, email, and their phone number. I'm going to show you two ways to create a form in React. First is using class component, and second is using functional component. In the functional component, we're going to see how to use state and make the functional component stateful. So we're going to learn how to create a stateful functional component. In this lecture, we're going to create a simple form with a class component. I'm going to create a login form and display the submitted data on a console. So let's take a look at how to create this beautiful example. I'm going to first create a form with a class component. So inside this folder, inside this component folder, I'm going to create a new file and name this file form class.js. You can specify any name to this file that's upon you let me just close this component and now let me use my snippet to create a form class component i'm going to say here rcc react class component when i press enter this will create a simple class component for us so once i have my class component let me create a simple form inside this return statement inside this render method right here i'm going to create my form so let me first get rid of this division tag and right here i'm going to say form let me get rid of this action attribute because I don't need it. And inside this form, I'm going to create h2 heading tag. And here I'm going to say login. Because we are creating a login form, that is why I'm going to specify title login. Inside this login, I'm going to create a simple div to make a container. And then here I'm going to say label. I'm going to create a label for email. Inside this label, here I'm going to say email, just like this. And then I'm going to add here input tag. You can notice this is super easy to create a form in react it's just like you create a standard form in html just out of that i'm going to leave this type text and then i'm going to specify value to it for now i'm going to specify empty string and then i'm going to just create another div just out of this div right down here i'm going to create another div and specify here label for password so inside this label i'm going to say password and inside it i'm going to say input type text i'm going to change this type to password because this is a field for password and to this input tag i'm going to specify attribute value i'm going to leave this empty and let me save the changes just for that let me import this form class inside my index.js so let me get rid of this list and use my form class here like this let me import this form class and this component let me save the changes when i back to my browser as you can see i have my login form here if you want you can style this form as well that's upon you so when the user pass value inside these text boxes i'm going to get that value and store it in the state so as you know you can create a state inside your class component with constructor i'm going to say here constructor pass here props the component properties then i'm going to say super props and down here i'm going to say this dot state is equal to and pass here an object i'm going to initialize state with an object just for that as you know i have here two input text boxes first for the email and second for the password up here i'm going to say email i'm going to create a key email and pass a null value here because for now i'm going to leave everything empty then i'm going to create here password and pass here empty value so i'm going to just initialize this state with email and password now, just for that, I'm going to specify this email and this password value to these input text boxes. Right now, I don't have anything inside this value. You can notice here, the value is empty right now. Let me specify this state. So, let me just get rid of this double quote. And here, I'm going to say this dot state dot email. And then I'm going to do the same for this password as well. Here, I'm going to say this dot state dot password. So I'm going to just specify this state value to this input text boxes because as you know, I can change the state whenever I want. And when you change the state, it will change the value of the input text boxes as well. So let me show you how you can change this state. So let me just use here a simple event called on change. This event is fire when you type anything inside your input text boxes. If I just call here an event to this input text box, which is on change is equal to and in the curly braces here i'm going to pass the handler function whenever you type anything inside your text box this will fire this on change event so when this event is fired this will call this handler function so let me create this handler function up here here i'm going to create this handler function so let me just create that here i'm going to say handle 
change email that's upon you you can specify any name to this handler function here i'm going to pass event parameter as you know using event parameter you can get the targeted component as well as you can get the different properties of that component here i'm going to say this dot set state i'm going to change the state using this handler function so here i'm going to pass parenthesis inside it i'm going to pass an object and here i'm going to say email and pass here a value now i'm going to just use here event dot target dot value now this statement is going to return the current value of this input text box because as you know event dot target is going to return this input text box and this value property is going to return the value of this input text box so when i type anything inside this input text box it will fire this handler function and change the state of email so for example inside this input text box if i type a then that a character is going to change your state and specify that a character inside your email state let me just copy this handler function and specify that here using this keyword this dot handle change email just out of that as you know i'm using state with an event so i need to bind that inside the constructor so right down here i'm going to say this dot handle change email i'm going to create a property of this component handle change email if you want you can change this property name that's upon you and then i'm going to say here this dot handle change email i'm going to call this method and call here a bind method to bind event with the state so i'm going to pass here this so this statement is going to bind your event with the state let me show you what will happen if i type here anything inside this email input text box if i type here a then this on change event is going to fire and store that a inside your state variable so when you type anything inside your input text box it will fire this on change event handler this method and this will set the state and pass that a value using this property so this will just change this email this empty email and pass my a value to this email and then you will see your value on your text box using this value attribute because as you know i have a inside this email property now just out of that let me do the same for this password as well so just out of this handle change email i'm going to create here a method called handle change password and here i'm going to call an event as a parameter and then i'm going to say this dot set state and in the parenthesis inside an object i'm going to say here password and here i'm going to say event dot target dot value so this will just get the input text box value and store that inside this password state so inside this input text box here i'm going to pass on change event like this and pass here this dot handle change password just out of that let me just add here a bind statement so here i'm going to say this dot handle change password is equal to this dot handle change password dot bind and pass here this keyword that's it let me save the changes back to my browser and now i can see i can type anything inside my text boxes now what i want i want to add here just down here a button to submit this form so just out of this div here i'm going to add a button a simple button submit text just like this so when i click on the submit button i want to submit my input text box values so what you need to do is you need to create on submit event of this form so whenever you click on this submit button the form event is going to fire and return your form data let me show you how you can do it so to this form here i'm going to pass an event call on submit and to this on submit i'm going to pass here an event handler so let me just create an event handler for this on submit event so just down here i'm going to create an event for this on submit let me create here and command on submit event handler so just down here i'm going to say handle submit and to this handle submit here i'm going to pass console.log to print your input text boxes value and inside this backtick operator right here i'm going to just say email and let me just print my value so i'm going to say here dollar curly braces and inside it i can add my variables so here i'm going to say this dot state dot email then here i'm going to say password and to print variable i'm going to use dollar curly braces and say this dot state dot password just out of that let me pass this handle submit to this on submit event here i'm going to say this dot 
and a submit like this let me save the changes and let me open the inspector let me specify here inside my email some value if I say here a and B and when I click on the submit button oops this will just quickly reload your page and you will not get anything here so what you need to do is inside this handle submit you need to pass here a JavaScript statement let me pass here an event parameter event and you need to change the standard behavior of the form when you click on the submit button form will automatically reload you need to stop that behavior of that form so to do that you can just simply use this event parameter so you just need to say here event dot prevent default let me save the changes back to my browser and reload it now let me specify here a and b when i press submit button you're going to get the same behavior to solve this problem you need to put this statement up here before this console message like this let me save the changes right now let me just specify here value a and b as you can see this will just return an error message without reloading this page here you can see we have an error state of undefined you can notice you're going to get an error message because as you know you don't have this bind statement for this handle submit so let me just add that just down here here i'm going to say this dot handle submit is equal to this dot handle submit dot bind and bind this handle submit event let me save the changes and then i'm going to pass here a value here i'm going to say a and here i'm going to pass b when i click on the submit button as you can see on my console i'm going to have both these values so as you can see it's super easy to get the user input using this input text boxes here i'm going to say daily tuition and here i'm going to pass one two three when i click on the submit button i'm going to get that value here inside my console now if you want you can store this value inside your database or do whatever you want now let me just simplify this component you can notice here i'm using this statement to bind this handle submit to my on submit event let me simplify this statement instead of creating this method here i'm going to just convert this method into a property of this component so what i'm going to do is here i'm going to say handle submit is equal to and then pass here an arrow function just like this and here inside this parenthesis i'm going to pass an event and just for that i'm going to copy this code and paste it here just like this and let me just get it off this method from here and just out of that let me get it off this statement as well so i'm going to just comment this statement like this let me save the changes back to my browser and reload it and then i'm going to pass here daily tuition when i click on the submit as you can see i'm going to get my value on my console so this is very easy to create your handler method now let me do the same for this email and for this password handler function as well so instead of these statements let me get rid of this statement so let me comment it and here i'm going to just convert this method into a property so i'm going to just specify here equal to sign to convert this method into property and specify a function here so i'm going to pass here an arrow like this do the same for this password as well like this let me save the changes and specify here a value admin one two three when i click on the submit button as you can see i'm going to have my input value on my console so as you can see it's super easy to create a class component in react next i'm going to show you how you can convert this example and create this login form using stateful functional component